name's Charlie Adams. And I'm Jason Schwab. And we are French Beard. So what we have in front of you is our product and prototype, which is basically repurposing bottle caps and then making them into poker uh, sets, which you have in front of you. Uh, some of the four major problems that we are going after is the big breweries, such as Anheuser-Busch, Budweiser. In the last 10 years, they've seen a decline in sales. So they're looking for different avenues and aspects to uh, revamp their uh, sales aspects. The next step is Liftbridge and Shell, which is another problem, which is the smaller breweries. They have a tough time jumping into the market, and they're looking for anything different to stand themselves out and get themselves into the brewery industry. The next aspect is recyclability. Bottle, ch or bottle caps um, are no longer recyclable, and they're tough and are a nuisance to recycle age, as they are hard to sift out when they are recycled, and they cause a lot of machinery problems when they don't get sifted out. The fourth and final problem is the useless merchandise. Not to pick on Budweiser, but here are a couple examples of the game on foosball pub. $400, three prong uh, foosball table, and the only thing different is it can hold beer at the base. <laughs> and we have the Make Your Mark uh, brander, which is again $70, and all it does is brand your, uh, your burger, and then you cook it, and you got Budweiser. <laughs> and then the classic selfie fad going on right now, Budweiser, I'm just capitalized on that with a couple logos on the collar of the neck, and then the, obviously where it holds the phone. And this is kind of where our product comes in, and we are the solution. We want to create a high, highly customizable and a high quality product that kind of goes after the aspect of the social uh, gathering of poker, which is drinking beer and hopefully using the beer that we are advertising with the poker chips. Uh, the next aspect is nostalgia. Like we saw, um, the smaller breweries and bigger uh, beer companies are now turning away from bottles and going into cans and then taps and also uh, cans, taps, and just other ways that are cheaper. And so the, what the cool thing about our thing is it creates a vintage product that the battle caps are not used anymore. Uh, the next aspect is sustainability. Um, our product, like I said, recyclability for the bottle caps is difficult and annoying. And so having to pop the bottle cap, this is a different idea to obviously repurpose that bottle cap and uh, make a better product for it. And then the next aspect is we want to outsource our uh, cases. We obviously have a case in front of you that we made. We want to outsource our cases to Woodchuck USA. And every case that we make will then be, uh, or every case that they make, they will plant a tree, which is a cool aspect of the Angel Gold Law. Uh, the next slide here is our target market. So our target market is anybody who loves their beer and loves the merchandise around their beer, so they want to purchase a product around it. Uh, the next one is liquor stores, breweries, uh, corporate gifting, and or high-level or low-level poker players that would love to purchase this set. Um, the next slide here is just kind of like our technology that we've created, which is our website, and some of the aspects we'd want to portray to a web designer, hopefully make it a little more sleek than what we have, but just have what we do, our mission statement, uh, some of the partner partners we've established so far, and then also we have a little aspect of the visual we want to portray for people to buy our product. Uh, the next one is competition. There's nothing like our product. We love it. It's highly customizable. It's unique. And like I said earlier, we're addressing nostalgic, the social, and then the highly sustainable aspect of our product. I'll pass the rest on to Jason. All right. Thank you, Charles. I'm just going to go over the partners that we're currently kind of in talks with and kind of partnering with over development of finished beer. So the first one, integral to a partnership, is Hayward Machine. We're going to develop the aluminum blanks in order to machine kind of the thing that seats the bottle cap in order for it to make their complete poker chip. So we've machined with them, and we have had talks with them, so we've secured them as a partner for that machine. Uh, we've got Woodchuck USA, we've got a wood manufacturer that we've outsourced the cases, the cases in the building and development. And we've also got quotes from them, as well as the scalability as in cost and reducing upon increased kind of development and increased cases that we have in the um, our third partner that currently we've been in talks with, um, the marketing director for the region for Buffalo Wild Wings, um, and we've kind of um, we've sealed them as a as a Buffalo Wild Wings. We can get the caps and everything from them, as well as stadium venues as well, in order to obtain the bottle caps in order to have the product that we have. And then the fourth and final one is breweries, of course. We've been in talks with Shells as well as Liftbridge, and the licensing and branding is the most important aspect of finished beer. And if we don't have a license and brand, we can't sell this product. So they are the most crucial one. And we want to start small with Lift Bridge as well as Shells. Move small from small breweries all the way up to the big global in the United States, leading sales Anheuser-Busch for our product. So that's our from small to bottom, as in the market as well as well. So then going into the product offerings, we have four product offerings over two subgroups. The first one is a completely customizable set that will range from $250 to about $100 for a 500 to 100 piece set, respectively. 
And then from then on, we have our do it yourself set, which is $150 to $50 for a 500 piece and a 100 piece set, respectively. And the do it yourself set, that's the aluminum blanks that you saw there, just the pure aluminum with the reservoir in, so you can flatten the bottle caps out and attach them. Of course, if you're the customer, you're drinking the beer, and then you're flattening out, that's probably the best part. So those are kind of the product offerings that we have currently. And then going over the financial projections, the top one is the revenue, um, and that's in the red, and the bottom one is the profit in the green. And it has that exponential curve because we believe we can double our sales in the next two, three to five years based on kind of what we see as an achievement and as a goal to gauge our success as finished beer. And as you can see, there's about a profit margin of 50% through our calculations and our costs that we've seen and estimated from Woodchuck USA as well as Hayward Machine. So other financial projections, um, for the units, it has that exponential curve, as you've seen with the revenue as well. Um, that's based on the doubling our units sold for the next three to five years as well. The total units is on top in the blue, as well as the four product lines individually are below that. And we're looking for a cost margin around 45% and decrease thereafter based on scalability as well. So currently for financing, we're looking for 5,000 for utility design and trade researches. We're looking for 5,000 for kind of increased prototype development across all four product lines, as well as 2,500 for website design and marketability. And then finally, $10,000 will go for inventory creation, as well as establishing branding for investors and customers alike. And just to finish off, you've heard from Charles, you've heard from me, but we represent a high quality, meaningful merchandising product for the beer industry in order to increase their marketability, as well as their brand awareness for the popular and less popular beers. We are not in the poker chip industry, we're not in the poker chip business. We're in the business of providing this product that represents the driven, hardworking nature of the breweries and exhibits sustainability of the future, as well as memories of the past. We are finished here. Thank you. Yes, they will. Yeah, we've, we have tested them to the same size as the regular plate poker chip, and we can fit, I think it's 50 for each row there, easily in each row. So. And the people's that, how long is that? There's, well, for these ones, they still stack, but they're not quite as essential as what they would be. Since they'll be recessed into that reservoir in the aluminum, they will be able to be stacked with the same functionality as the reservoir. I was wondering more about the, the, the real we see kind of any customer, anybody who wants to have to set themselves, as well as breweries for tournaments that they may hold, they are a customer as well, buy our product, host tournaments with our product and advertise their beers, as well as they can sell it individually to them through a royalty process that we would compensate them through as well. So, so if your partners, have, have any of them said, do you want to buy X number of units? Um, that, that deals with the breweries that we're still in talks with. We've had the feasibility that this is something that they like, something that they will approve our licensing and branding for, and they're attracted to that. And we're actually looking to have more talks with Shells in the coming weeks here. They've been kind of slow to get back to us here. So. And, and one of the questions would be, will you buy some of yes, these Yes, For aluminum, it's actually quite, it's cheaper than you expect. For, so, Hayward Machine, they can use a recycled aluminum forger as well as to get their aluminum. And we're using aluminum because it's easy, it's recyclable, and our whole staple of this is recyclable but collectible as well in order to repurpose it. But for aluminum, the cost for that um, it is about $80 for 500 machine finished aluminum parts that we have. Earlier, maybe a little less than that. I think it's about what it is. It's a really big chunk of your profit. I mean, yes, it is a big chunk, but we kind of had that premium on, on situated on our price tag. So, two fifty is for a customizable set that we have here. And if you look for a customizable set for a clay poke chip, it'll be around 100, 120. So we kind of make it up, make up for it with that price point, which is a little higher in different market, of course. Good. Uh, this has a nice kind of vintage collector's feel to it. It's really yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's the steel wash. It'll be a little lighter. Than that. <laughs> Have you explored other product formulations where this may be different plastic kind of um, we have we're quite open up some of those markets yeah. We haven't quite looked into that, but Haven Machine does have plastic.
still have more knowledge. Just wondering if you've thought at all about other products that this could go into. So I immediately think about that this makes a nice keychain uh, circle. But what are other things that you could go uh, diversify? Um, right now we're kind of focused on the poker chip avenue. We're looking at greens gifting as well. It's kind of other avenues that we're looking. Uh, we haven't quite searched for anything else to use with the bottle caps currently, but we still totally, we're focusing on these four product lines at the moment.